Alright, I got an FM transmitter here. This is the front of it. I should have uh, showed you what it looked like before I took it apart, but I didn't. Make a long story short, I took it apart looking for an antenna that I could extend. And this is our circuit. It's a digital FM transmitter, believe it or not, so you can pick any frequency you want to any frequency you want to transmit on. Now these are your wires for your headphone jack, positive, negative, and ground. I was thinking that there would be some kind of antenna inside, but I haven't found one yet. But if it transmits, there has to be an antenna. Even if it's only the size of a micro dot, there has to be some kind of antenna. And I'm going to try and find it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my stereo receiver on my telephone I'm going to hook that to here because the receiver don't work on the radio so I'm going to plug this into the radio and then I'm going to turn that transmitter on and tune it to a frequency and I'm going to start touching wires around until I get a strong signal over here I got that tuned to 92.5 megahertz. Now I gotta get my power supply here. So this thing can use two AAA batteries or I can plug it into the cigarette lighter of a car. I got a jump starter around here somewhere. I just don't know where it's at. I don't wanna lose these little buttons here. See them all. Alright, I think I might have found the antenna here. I went into the other room. And I had the sound coming through the stereo over there. And right here, when I went out to the other room, I heard static. So I took this screwdriver and I just gently touched the screwdriver to this metal prong and the static went away. So that tells me that when I touched the screwdriver to these two leads, the signal got stronger. And uh, if that wasn't the antenna, I don't understand why the signal would get stronger. And I noticed they put a capacitor they put a capacitor on the end of the antenna. I think they did that to limit the range. They don't want this to go far. Alright, so what I've been doing here was I touched the screwdriver around in different places here and I've been trying to solder a wire to that capacitor there but I don't have any solder and the solder tip I have is pretty big so it's a little difficult I'm going to keep trying to solder it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that without any solder. Alrighty, since I don't have any solder, I found this uh, LED circuit board laying around in my toolbox. I took this out of an 8-track stereo that I couldn't get to work. Anyway, as you see, the old solder joints, they use a lot of nice solder back in the day. They 
gave you your money's worth. So I'm going to try and uh, take some solder off this board, and I'm going to try and put the solder right there on them two leads. Now, if you got one of these digital transmitters here, they're not real hard to find out where the antenna is. Just turn it on, set it to a frequency. What I did was I set it a couple frequencies off so I could tell when the signal got stronger. I only had to walk about 10 feet for to lose the signal since the frequency was off by about uh, 10 to 20. Uh, I set the frequency off about 100 to 200 kilohertz. My receiver was set to uh, 92.5, I set it to 92.7. So I didn't have to walk far and I touched the screwdriver to this uh, uh, capacitor here. And them two leads were already soldered together, so that capacitor is useless. They did that deliberately to limit the signal. So I'm thinking if I either take that capacitor out or if I solder a wire to it and then put it back together, this little wire will be our antenna and we'll get better range. So I'm going to try it and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Alright, first I'm going to try and get the solder off of this board and put it on there. Alright, it's melting. Oh! Damn, them fumes are strong. The old solder was better, but the smell is lethal. Mm. If only I could get it to stick to the solder iron. Alright, I got a drop off. Now I'm going to melt that to these two leads here. Just gotta give it a sec. All right, that worked. Uh, I still gotta mess around with it a little bit, but now that that solder's on there, I can I can solder my wire to it now because they didn't really give me enough solder to put a wire on there. I didn't have any. So what I did was I took the solder off this board here, and <laughs> there's still a lot left on there. So I'm gonna put uh, that wire on there now, and I'm gonna test out the range. I hope you can see these pictures clearly. If you gotta do this yourself, you can always send me a message or. Uh, uh, get in contact with me somehow. I'll help you out with it. But these FM transmitters, man, if you know what you're doing, you can do a lot of stuff with these, especially the analog ones, because the analog ones, you can go above and below the frequency band with some of them. So you can actually transmit on the airplane frequencies, because they're, they're around 110 to 120 uh, megahertz, I think. I could be wrong, but I know I, uh, I tuned a receiver one time to a higher frequency than 108 megahertz and I picked up airplanes so if you really want it to you can probably transmit on their band I know it's illegal but rules are meant to be broken <laughs> alright I gotta solder this wire on here alright I got the wire soldered on there but I think I kinda shorted out the, the uh, one of them digital capacitors next to it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another drop of solder off the circuit board and I'm going to I'm going to put it on top of the wire there so it's a little more secure and I'm going to have to scrape the solder away from that digital circuit there because uh, I, I don't want to short anything out so I'm going to have to do that real quick and then I think the antenna will be ready I'll test out the range all right See, this is the old-fashioned solder. It takes a little longer to melt than the new stuff. The new stuff is cheap. You know, the wires come off easy, and it it's good that it melts easy, but uh, it's just not as good, the new stuff. The old stuff, obviously, was better. Everything. The older you go, the better the quality. That's what I found. Now I gotta melt solder onto there. Alrighty, so there's our solder joint. Now I'm gonna have to turn this on and make sure that it works. 
Hang on, I'm, I gotta flip it around. See these wires, even though I soldered that on there, they're still delicate. Since everything's so small, I'm gonna turn this on. Alright, luckily it still turns on. Now I gotta turn on the receiver here. Hang on. Applications, FM radio. 107.9 107.9 okay now I'm going to turn up that volume max now I'm going to walk out to the other room right where I was before and see how clear to see alright now just keep an eye on them lights I'm going to walk in the other room here with the transmitter before when I got to the door I heard static so I'm going to walk out there and see. Alright. No static. I walked all the way to the door. I had the volume up on the radio. I didn't hear no static. So that tells me that even though I screwed up my solder joints and didn't do a very pretty job, it works. All right, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, if you got one of these digital transmitters laying around, mess around with it. It's fun, and you'll be glad you did it, brother. Believe me. All right, I'm going to pop this thing back together here now. Uh, crap, I don't even know what I did with all the parts. i got to unplug this soldering iron. I left that thing plugged in the other day for like four hours and didn't even know it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to grab all the pieces here. These are just the little buttons. Now, every transmitter is different, but uh, they're all different, but yet they're all the same, if you know what I mean. They're designed differently, but the same concept applies to all of them. Some of them may have a capacitor, some of them may have a digital capacitor, which is a lot harder to work with, but you can still work with it. I mean, as long as you have a soldering iron, you can do just about anything you need. Now, I got to figure out where all these buttons went. Believe it or not, I think putting it back together is going to be hard. Something tells me that when I put this transmitter back together, that's going to be a little harder than what it was to take it apart and to add the antenna because I don't remember where these buttons go. And I don't remember how to put them in. Uh, here's the front. I mean, it is a cool little transmitter. It's made by gear has the Walkman sign, so Walkman is the same company. Uh, this one's a little older, I'm thinking, but they're all, I think they're all, like, under the same concept. I could be wrong. If you have one of these uh, and you work with it, tell me. Tell me so I know. I'm always, <laughs> I'm always up to learning new things. You know, anything I can learn from anybody, I'm, I'm up to it. You know what I mean? And I hope you're the same way, because knowledge is power, brother. You know what I mean? When you know how to do stuff, all right, I'm going to try and put all these buttons back in the case here. See, they all got their own little pattern. Yeah, that fits in there. Uh-oh, I'm missing a big button. Uh-oh. I don't remember where this one goes. Uh, hang on. I think I'm doing something wrong here. Now, right here, there's two buttons. So, if it was on here, that means two buttons got to go in here. Okay, see, that's how they get you. Putting the thing, putting the thing back together is the hard part. See, these little buttons, I think they both go together somehow. So, I'm gonna have to. F All right, I figured out how to put them buttons in. But they make it very difficult to put those buttons in and put this on at the same time because they all, they fall out. So I'm thinking about putting something in there just to make those buttons stick so they won't fall out. I don't really know how I'm going to do that though. See, you, know, they, you can't really set the buttons on here and put them in. They don't really stay, so that's another way how they, you know what I mean? 
they try and make it very difficult for you to take it apart and fix it and modify it. But if you get past their little wicked tricks they try and do, just a matter of using using your brain here, you'll figure it out. I'm going to take this piece of duct tape and put it on the other side of this little piece of plastic to make them buttons stick. You know, they, they really specifically designed this stuff to where it's hard to take apart and to where it's hard to fix and you know but then at the same time you can design it to where it meets your needs anyway I gotta grab another piece of tape here alright they specifically design things to where you can't work on it <laughs> but then again Ah, the Lord gives us a brain for a reason. We are here to use it and to make other people aware. All right, now as you see, I got the tape there. All right, I'm almost done here. I just got to get a couple buttons in here. Then I'm going to put the face on there, and there's, believe it or not, there's only one screw that holds this thing together. So I'm going to pop this in here and then see how it goes. They call me the breeze. I keep blowing down the road. Ain't got me nobody. missing one of the buttons. I don't know where it went, but couldn't have gotten that far. push these buttons against that duct tape so they don't fall out when I pop them back onto uh, 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 the uh, casing here, the circuit board. Alright. See, one of the buttons still came out. They do that on purpose, you know. They don't want you to be able to fix this stuff. Make sure that all these buttons are pressed against the tape. And to make sure this wire here is ready. And then it's ready to go back on. I just gotta find the screw. There's a screw right here. Now these screws are really small. You gotta have one of them really, really small uh, screwdriver sets to do this. All right, all right, all right. I like this song, but it's it's making me go a little insane right now. So I gotta change that. <laughs> I like the song, but when I'm working, it just kind of it makes me get nervous. If you know what I mean, I start feeling like the government's coming after me. You know how that is. <laughs> and this 
song. I like this too, but uh, ah, what the heck? What I do with that screwdriver? I don't know what I did with the screwdriver I was using. Oh well, I'm gonna try and use one of these. I hate when I lose stuff, man. All right. turn this bad boy on and make sure she's working. Gotta make sure it's working now. Uh, Alright, I got stereo receiver tuned to uh, 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 107.9. Let's tune this to 107.9. There we go. There we go. Now I'm going to turn up that volume all the way. And I'm going to set the camera here. And I'm going to walk in the other room. Alright, now what I need you to do is keep an eye. Keep an eye on these red meters here for me. Uh, right here. Right here. Alright, I'm gonna walk. Transmitter turned off. Alright, keep an eye on them red meters. When I go out there, if any static, if there's any static, you're gonna see that light up. I'll be right back. I didn't hear no statics, now I'm gonna walk out back and see what happens. I'm gonna walk outside. You'll know if uh if there's any static because them lights will light up. Hang on a second, somebody's calling my telephone. Hang on. Uh it turns out that it's pouring rain outside, so I'm not really gonna walk outside. Uh, I get the point that the transmitter's working before that door over there you see. When I walk to that door you'd hear all static and you wouldn't get any sound. Now with our extended antenna, you can walk all the way over to that door without any static. So, sure it don't go a hundred miles like I wish it would, but it certainly, certainly goes a lot farther than what it was. So uh, if you got a, a transmitter, if you got a transmitter and you you know how to fix these things or you know how to modify them, send me a message, man, please. I like learning about this stuff. These things are awesome. So uh, yeah, if you um if you have <laughs> if you have any questions or anything, send me a message. Leave a comment. Uh, just communicate with me. Communicate. I'd appreciate it. All right. Now this is playing for my computer system in the other room. Not too much. That's a lot, a lot clearer than what it was before. That's certainly a lot clearer than what it was before, because before that it wouldn't work at all in the other room. So I can't complain one bit. I'm happy. Have a good one, guys. Thank you for watching.